In today's video, we're checking out this Epiphone Les Paul 60 Standard. This is the inspired by Gibson range, and this color is known as Ice Tea. It also comes in two other colors. Welcome back folks, this is Shane. You were listening to this beautiful Epiphone 60s standard. Let's take a look. Here's the guitar up close. Like all Les Pauls from Gibson and Epiphone, it's a mahogany body and mahogany neck. We get 22 medium jumbo frets, a 12 inch fretboard radius. We get the Graph Tech nut as well on the top. And on the back, we also get the Grover tuners, which is fantastic. One of the things I know will appeal to a lot of players is this slim taper neck. The 60s necks aren't as fat as the 50s one here. If you missed that video, I'll link it up in the card somewhere over here. But yeah, the neck isn't quite as fat on this guitar. Odds are that will appeal to more people. In terms of the pickup configuration, we get the Pro Bucker Humbucker pickups. They're going for that classic PAF sound, and they say on their website that it's closer than you think. Now, I love the bridge pickup on this guitar. It sounds great. The neck pickup is a little bit woolly, but I'm gonna explain a little bit more about that and how you can get the cleanest tone out of it possible coming up at the end of the video. The fretboard material is Indian Laurel, and I have to tell you up close, this might be one of the best looking guitar necks I've ever seen. Some people might say it looks a little dry thanks to the lighting and all that kind of stuff, but it doesn't. It looks absolutely stunning. As you can see, looking at the fretboard, the Indian Laurel looks amazing. Because this is a standard 60s, we get a regular tunematic bridge as well. We don't get one of those wrap around tail pieces on this particular model. So yeah, if that's your thing, you'll definitely get a kick out of this. Firstly, a massive thank you to Sky Music here in Melbourne, Australia for letting me borrow this. I really appreciate it. Links to them will be below. If you also live overseas, I'll put some Toman and Sweetwater links down there. They help support the channel at no extra cost to you. I don't charge to make these videos or anything like that. If you use those links, thank you so much. So I'm going to give you my thoughts about this guitar at the end. We're going to try it clean and dirty and all that kind of stuff. And if it's helpful, please give the video a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, there's some good things to love about this and a few things I think I'm going to mention about it at the end. So let's get into it. All right, let's kick it off today. I'm plugged into the Marshall DSL 40CR amplifier. We're going to start on the clean channel and then go over to the crunch and ultra gain as well. This is neck pickup on clean with the volume and tone all the way up. Beautiful. Over to both, let's give this a shot. Neck down, just a hair. And 
And now with neck all the way up. So that brings the bass back into it. And over to bridge. It's quite a bright bridge pickup. Let's try it with the tone control on, which is something I hardly ever do. And all the way back up. And now over to the crunch channel on the amplifier, we're gonna start on bridge pickup with the volume all the way up. Here we go. So I had to re-EQ my amp for the drive channel. I added more tops and backed off the bass and it made the neck pick up way more sort of snappy in terms of its tone. I really dig that. Let's have a listen. Over to both pickups. Yeah, off camera, I had to re-EQ the amplifier. It still sounds a little bit woolly on the neck pickup in combination, like in this second position with both pickups, but if we turn the neck down, let's have a listen. Yeah, I dig that. All right, over to neck pickup now, but with the volume control most of the way off. So let's see if it cleans up. Over to bridge for the same thing, volume most of the way down. Bridge pickup sounds better to my ear than the neck does in pretty much every situation. Volume up on bridge. Woo! Volume up on neck. Yeah, it's an interesting guitar tonally. It's sort of like neck pickup on its own with the volume control up sounds great. Bridge pickup sounds great no matter what you do. And both pickups, it's okay. But as long as you keep the neck pickup down in the mix of both, then you're going to get some good tones out of it. But yeah, maybe not quite as good as the 50s one overall, in my opinion. Thanks for watching, folks. My name's Shane. A huge thanks to Sky Music again for letting me borrow this. I really appreciate it. If you want to find out about this, Links will be down in the description below through to Sky Music and also overseas if you live in Europe or in the US. Now, in terms of what I think of this, it's a beautiful guitar. It plays great. I think it requires a high pass filter in the neck position. It doesn't sound at all like it's got one, especially when you turn down. It gets a little bit too muddy for me, but that's a $5 mod, definitely worth doing. Otherwise, it's great. I think the way that it feels, it's balanced well. It looks like a quality instrument. It's absolutely beautiful. There's no blemishes or anything on the finish, and I don't know what else to say other than I didn't really like the neck pickup as much as I did this 50s one behind me. Oh, it's on this side, over here. This one sounds a little bit better, and in my hand feels a little bit better. So if you're looking for something with a fatter neck, I would go for the 50s one. If you want something with a slightly slimmer neck, uh, and maybe a more sort of modern humbucker tone, then go for this one. But I really feel like this was a much more playable guitar, just straight out of the box. Now. That's not to say that this 60s one is a bad instrument because it absolutely isn't. I just think it could use a high pass filter in the neck. I'm not gonna fanboy out about any of these guitars. If there's some stuff about them I don't like, I always mention it in the video. That's my only criticism. High pass filter in the neck position or in both pickups, that's it. You'll have a great guitar and it will hold its own with much, much more expensive guitars. So overall, I think Epiphone are making some really great instruments. I've said it before, you know, you can get very, very close to a Gibson without really spending that sort of money. 
And in terms of all the sort of clone guitars, this is a league above all of them. It's above the Harley Bentons and Artist Guitars, but you are paying a far more premium price for this. Over the Artist Guitar, I'd probably put the Artist Guitar just under this in terms of feel and all that kind of stuff and tone. Uh, but yeah, if you want that Gibson headstock and Gibson kind of brand, here it is. Links will be below. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you soon. See ya.